Hello and welcome to Miniage Painting. Today I have an extreme heresy warning for you, as we'll be painting some custodians that have fallen to the corruption of Slanesh. To start these guys off, we're going to apply a base coat of Abaddon Black all over the model. Despite using a black primer on them, we need this for a base coat in case we want to go back with this color and fix the highlights, as this will be the main color of the model. After this, I'm going to take corn red and apply this to any of the cloth or capes that the custodes have. In this case, it's just some tassels. Up next, I'll apply demonette flesh to the flesh of the model. This is the start of the grayish purple tone that I really like for these guys. After this, I'm going to apply three thin coats of white scar to the hair of these traders. This is so the wash we apply later appears vibrant. But where's the gold that the custodes are so famous for? We're going to apply Retributor armor only to the trim around the shoulder, the casing on the sword, and any filigree on the model. For all the icons of the corpse god that we choose to leave, or can't safely scrape away, we'll base coat these with lead belcher. We'll also coat the blade of the swords with this color. Now we can get to shading. We're going to start with Reichland Flesh Shade and apply this all over the gold of these guys. I want this gold to look tarnished, so I'm going to use two coats of this. After that, I'll take two coats of Druki Violet to all the icons of the galaxy's worst father, but I'll only need to apply one coat to the skin here. Finally, we can move on to the highlights. For this, we will take some more of that demonette hide and do an edge highlight on all of the black with this color. Edge highlighting is best done with the tip of a small brush or by dragging the side of the brush along the sharper edges of a model. Using this same method, we'll add Dawnstone on top of the demonette hide of the last step. Try to focus on parts that are higher on the model and would naturally catch more light. Now we are going to take Liberator Gold and apply this to the higher points of the gold. This step will add more punch to the raised areas while not taking away from the intended tarnished look. After that, we are going to finish the metallics by taking Stormhost Silver and applying this to the sharp edges of the icons and the edges of the blade. After washing out the paint cup, we are going to take Karoberg Crimson and apply this to the hair and top knots of the Emperor's former champions. To add depth to the skin, we'll apply a highlight of Warp Fiend Grey followed by a higher highlight of Slanesh Grey. For the Power Swords effect, we're going to take more White Scar and apply this to the center of the blade, then take the same color and apply it in almost a checkerboard pattern on reversing sides of the blade. After this first thin coat, we'll apply a second to the center of the base highlights and another coat over the center. Finally, we'll take Hex Wraith Flame and create a Warp Flame effect as the energy coursing through the blade. Now that the models are finished, let's take a look at their story. I once believed in the God Emperor. I once believed in the Imperium. I once believed in duty and honor. But then, I heard the whisper. The whispers of the Prince of Pleasure, the whispers of Slanesh. At first, I resisted. I fought the temptation. 
the more I heard, the more I desired, the more I desired, the more I gave in. And now, I'm free. Free from the chains of duty and honor. Free to revel in the excess and debauchery that Slanesh offers. I am no longer a slave of the God Emperor. I am a servant of Slanesh. And it's glorious. Thanks for watching. Let me know. What should I paint next time? Leave your suggestions in the comments below.